I'm on a site called Smashwords, which is a great free option for uploading your ebook. And so I'm going to be uploading an ebook here for a client friend of mine. And here's the book. So I'm going to be uploading this book, short story, onto Smashwords in this video. So this is a quick step by step tutorial on how to do that. Okay, as we jump in here, I want to just be clear, I'm not talking about low content books. So I'm not talking about picture books, or blank journals, I'm talking about actually uploading a short story, or a novella, or a novel. And this site here is called Smashwords. And what they do is they publish your book. And it's an ebook. And then what happens is it goes to these different distributors, like for example, Apple, Barnes and Noble, Overdrive, Kobo, this thing goes to like many, many different countries, there's a big FAQ here. And one of the issues with Smashwords, it's a free site, which is great. And it publishes your book for free, which is great. But one of the problems is it's really, really wordy. And so even the FAQ is just like pages and pages and pages long. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I mean, you're, you're going to spend the rest of your life, you're going to die of old age before you ever get through the FAQs. So these guys love to write. It's a writer's website. And so what I'm going to do is just walk through how to upload your book nice and easy. And I'm going to be using a short story. And the short story that I'm using is a client friend of mine. Her name's Karen Keeley. And she's written a story here called crying all the way to the bank. And it's a pretty short, short story. It's only four pages long. And I'm going to show you exactly how to format it, upload it and get it published onto Smashwords. So let's go. Okay, so ebooks work a little bit differently than regular books. Ebooks don't have set fonts, for example. So what people can do when they're reading an ebook is they can zoom in the font and, it, and it'll make it look larger on their electronic device. They also don't have pages the same way that a regular book does because when you scroll in the font and you make it larger, it would wind up changing the page count. So what will happen is I'm going to just take this story and it's got it's a word document. So I'm in Microsoft Word, but it's got a bunch of formatting. We can see here when I click on the little the little um, paragraph indicator, we've got tabs, we've got footers, we've got paragraph markers, we want to get rid of all of this before we upload it into Smashwords. So what I'm going to do here is called the nuclear option. And if you're reading through that huge it's FAQ, or if you're reading through the style guide on Smashwords, they talk about the, the nuclear option. So what I'm going to do here, nuclear option is just removing all the formatting in the file. So what I'm going to do here is just do control A, control A highlights everything in the book. Okay, so here it's I'm only I've only got four pages. All right. So I've got everything now highlighted with control A. And now I'm going to go control C, which copies everything. And then I'm going to open up notepad. So I'm going to type into my little computer here the word notepad open up the app. I'm just using Windows 10. And so I've got notepad and now I'm going to do control V and that pastes everything into the notepad. Notepad is only text. From there, I'm just going to highlight everything control A copy it, you can do control C, but I'm basically copying everything into notepad. And I am going to close out Word completely. Now I'm just going to reopen Word and I'm going to paste it into Word just as a text document. So we can see here the only markers we've got in the Word document are paragraph ends. And that's that's what we want. There's nothing else. There's no headers, there's no footers, all the text is the exact same. It's all normal under the style, it's not under title or anything like that. It's all under normal. And we're, we're good. We've just got a nice easy file. And I'm going to save this now as a copy. And it's only text. Okay, now that I've got my document formatted in Word, I can now jump over to smashwords.com. And I can go now to upload the short story. To upload the short story, I'm just going to click on my little icon here at the top, which is says manage account profile dashboard, I'm going to click on my dashboard. And then I can see here there's a sales uh, tab, there's a publishing tab, and there's a marketing tab. I'm going to go to the middle tab that says publish a new book. Okay, publish your new book. And now it says enter the title of my book. So this is the short story that I'm going to be uploading. So it's called crying all the way to the bank. Okay, 
This is for immediate release. Book description, I can put in a book description here and a short description. My language, I'm going to say English. And then I can say make my book free or charge a specific amount for my book. I'm going to charge 99 cents US. Let readers determine the price. So you've got this option here where you can actually give away the book for free or you can just let people pick it. It's kind of like a charity thing, which is great. You can sample, make the first 10%, 20%, whatever it is. And then you've got categorization here. So I'm going to put fiction. And then inside of fiction, I'm going to put in my mystery and detective. And then from here, I'm going to do like hard boiled for, oh, maybe I'll do general. Okay, then you can improve the secondary category. You've got that option as well, fiction, and you could do mystery and detective. And then from here, I could do short stories. Okay, there's an adult content disclaimer thing because people don't want to get offended. There's a box set, yes or no. And then you can do tags. So I can enter a bunch of tags in here as well. From here, then I've got a cover image that I can upload as well. Now the cover image, they've got little cover requirements here and it says 1400 by 6360 pixels wide. So this is the width. So you could do as little as 1400 or as much as 6360 and then the height of it as well. So you could just do a 1400 by 1820 if you just don't want to have a huge thumbnail. The thumbnail should be on Smashwords, really big book title and really big author name if you're doing fiction. You don't want to have a huge picture because the thumbnail is actually going to be quite small. On a lot of mobile devices, the thumbnail looks like that. So it'd be really hard to read something if the text was tiny. So just be aware, you don't need to spend hours and hours making your thumbnail because nobody's going to be able to see the picture very well anyway. So I'm just in Photoshop here to make my cover of my book. When I go to image canvas size, we can see here in inches that I've got eight height and 5.33 inches. When I go to pixels, we can see here I've just got the minimum, which is 1600 by 2400. Okay, so I'm going to jump in now and make my actual book cover here. I've got a little template that I've got set up. So whenever I use Smashwords, I just use this. And the template just says, this is from the style guide. You must include the book title and author name and the title and author name much match the title and author name inside your book and in the metadata. So it's just a little reminder for me on what I need to do. So I can just remove that and now I will create my actual book cover. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that book cover overall. I put a little tiny graphic here on the right. Font's nice and big, easy to read. And I'm just going to save this now as a JPEG file to upload onto Smashwords. Okay, now that we've got the book cover all taken care of, we're back on Smashwords and we're under the Publish Your Book option. I'm just going to run through these here real quick. Title and description, we've got that entered. We've got it for immediate release. The long description of your book, I've just got a little blurby here that I've written. And then the short description, I actually just copied and pasted it. I made it the exact same. The language of the book is English. I'm charging 99 cents for my book. The sampling, I've put it to 10% of the book. Because it's a short story, I downed this to 10% instead of 20. The primary category, I've got its fiction and then mystery and detective. And then I've got general here as well. For the secondary category, I've got fiction and I've got mystery and detective and short stories. The box set, it's no, it's not a box set. Now under tags, if you type in something like, for example, crime, it's going to think, it's going to load in suggestions, which is a pretty neat feature. And so I can type that in and I can add that tag and then I can click that tag and it'll add. So you can actually do pretty quick tags on here as well. Now it says a maximum of 10 tags are permitted per book. So I've got five now from crime. So I'm going to put in detective and I'll click five more. One, two, and um, three. I'm going to do funny as well because it's a bit of a humor book here. And we've got funny and I'm just going to do funny crime. And we'll add that as a tag. So I've got my 10 tags there. Very easy to do. It goes on and on. Now we've got the cover image. Now the cover image is a JPEG file. Okay, so I've uploaded a JPEG. 
And the manuscript, it says here it wants a Microsoft Word doc file. And what happens is if you save Microsoft Word currently, like in 2021 and beyond, it saves it as a docx file. So what you need to do is go in and save your file as a Microsoft Word 97 to 2003 document. That creates a doc file. So that's the one that I've actually uploaded. Okay, so I've got crying all the way to the bank doc file there. From there at select ebook types, I've got them all selected off, publishing agreement, and then I'll click publish immediately. So if you're doing this for the first time, you may get a bit of a shock when you hit the publish button because we're just back to the start now. It says publish your book. It's all blank. And it's like, oh no, where did my book go? It's there. You just need to go over to your dashboard. So on the top right, you're going you're to click your little icon and then you're going to go into your dashboard. It's going to ask you if you want to leave the page, which really sets your heart into a frenzy. I'm going to click yes. So now you're wondering, did I lose everything? No. Under book summaries, as I scroll down, I can see crying all the way to the bank and it says status published. Now, if you do this right away, it'll actually say converting. It takes about five minutes to convert, but here it says published. Okay. And then it has retail price is 99 cents. Library price is 99 cents. Book sold zero, obviously, because we just published it. The premium status says pending review. And what that is, is it's like a premium service where it sets it off and you need an ISBN number and things like that. You can click the details tab and that will show you that it's missing an ISBN. So I would need to get an ISBN number to assign. And that's just like a catalog number. And that's for required for distribution to the larger distribution centers. But here we've actually published this on Smashwords. Now details for the premium is pending review. Okay. There's a premium catalog you can read through. And from there, basically we're published. So here we can see the status of the book is published. I can click on the title of the book. That will take me to the actual book itself. Here's the cover. Here's, you can download it as an EPUB, as a mobile, as a Mobi, as an LRF and you can buy the book for 99 cents. It's right there. So you can get to your book at any time. Just go to the main page, which you're just clicking the Smashwords icon on the top left. That takes you to the main page. From here, you go up to the top right into your dashboard. Now, when you're in your dashboard, you're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna see crying all the way to the bank. There's my published book and I can change my settings. I can upload a new version. I can upload a new cover or I can also just kill the book if I want as well. I can update the pricing. I can actually create coupons and send it out to people. And then I can take a look at my statistics as well. From the premium status here, I can also select details. And when I select details, it says here, this book is missing an ISBN. I can go to my ISBN manager to assign it. So here's my book. There's the author, publish date, and then the action, I just simply click this plus button to assign an ISBN. I can do a free ISBN, or I can already, if I already have an ISBN, I can use that. I'm just gonna do the free ISBN. For the vast majority of people, this would be fine. I know some people get worked up because who is really owning the IBS ISBN? Is it Smashwords? Is it myself? You can also, you can just go to your local government and get an ISBN. You can just Google, you know, United States ISBN, for example. But here I'm just gonna say free. I'm gonna review the agreement. I'm going to confirm. See, Smashwords is the publisher and Karen Keeley is the author, which is what I want. I'm gonna click confirm and there we go. The ISBN has now been assigned. Like I say, for the vast majority, this is fine. I'm gonna go back to home. Here's my home page. I'll click on top right. I'll go into the dashboard. And here we can see pending review. It's now taking a look at it. And we've got our book all ready to go. So what you can do is just simply click on your book in your dashboard and that gives you your, your page. You can just basically take the link to this page and you can put it on your Facebook. You could put it on whatever social media you're on, Twitter, whatever, and you can basically share the book now with people. So I hope you found that walkthrough helpful. Pretty easy way here to upload a short story for 99 cents, or it's the same process if you're gonna do a larger book as well, but there is chapters and settings. It can be a little bit more difficult to do an actual novel. So I'm gonna do that in a different video, but this is just a nice easy walkthrough for Smashwords. Hope you guys found that helpful. As always, if you did, please do hit that like button and thank you so, so much for watching.